to this beautiful world. 2% of the time. I don't enjoy 98% of the time where you want to get into Black Rock Depths, but You're now dead. they don't just kill the Flight Master, they'll also kill the actual Spirit Healer and indefinitely kill you, forcing you to log off and come back at 4 a.m. to have some <laughs> shot at returning to Ironforge like a pussy. Or you could do what I did. Oh my god. We'll get to that later. Perhaps you want to go to a Every Kalimdor. fucking server, man, Tough is shit, like homie, this. this is incredible. Because you'll run into a few wow. platoon of horn players who all claim that they're the captain now, forcing you to take the much more yep. inefficient route by sailing to Darkshore. Ooh. Now, you could get a free teleport to Tenaris once every yep. six hours as an artisan engineer. But That's that true. would leave your endearing, primal, aggressive, top shelf certified, five star. Banging. Wow, GF on oh, her own no. with all these board oh, players. No. And speaking of Amiri, she remains okay. an absolute animal at this game. Not just has she been sending me care packages. Not just does she literally what the come fuck? out of nowhere when I'm about to be killed without having communicated to me God. in any way that she was going where I was. And she just killed how long she'd been stealth near me. God damn! Uh, Dude, um, she's she popping also off. Got her enchanting to 300 it must just be to a enchant she. all my gear. She's perfect. But enough wow. about my e-dating. Let's get back to my yeah, e-misery. This guy's a god. With the world gone awry, a regular PvP server can in a single day turn into an RP nightmare hellscape. The horde were sure locking can. us out of progressing through the end game content and it was yep. showing in the cities. This guy in Ironforge was apparently the new king of the alliance. Everyone followed him in a train <laughs> and started spreading lies about how he gave gold to everyone following him. It was in the midst of this so chaos everyone that I seized him. the moment and rose to the occasion. Oh God, I started advertising in the trade chat, pretty Two much begging for higher level players to carry me through a dungeon I hadn't yet Wait a tried. second. Opera Wait a second, I've, I've got to read this. started spreading lies about how he gave gold uh, I to everyone read his message. following him. It was in the midst of this chaos that I seized the moment and rose to the occasion. I started... Two hot night elf sluts looking for someone to gloriously carry us through lure or upward black rock spire. Hit me up. Uh, whatever. We're DTF. What does DTF mean? Is that Dallas Fort Worth? Let me see. I think that's Dallas Fort Worth. Uh, I'll be right back. Give me a second. I take a piss. Be right back. All right. We're good. We're good. DTF equals down the fuck. Wait, what the f Oh, no. That's disgusting. What a bunch of sluts. Advertising in the trade chat, pretty much begging for higher level players to carry me through a dungeon disgusting. I hadn't yet tried. Opera Blackrock Spire, which is technically a small raid, designed to be completed by 10 players rather than 5. Yes. Any seasoned WoW player will know that at level 53, you're absolutely not up to the task. Yeah, but you are, I of course. was an unknowing fool. When Rurik approached me, I said, Say not a word. I can sense why you have come. You have come to carry me through Blackrock Spire. Guys, gear sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Rurik laughed at me and proclaimed that he came to call me a milk boy and laugh at my res sickness. After a 20 minutes of boy? cringy roleplaying, I gathered a, a full party for Upper Black Rock Spire. I actually had to join the train of lunatics for anyone to listen to me. I, I don't know how that works. But That's anyways, right. you gotta do what you gotta do to get to level 60. Am I, am I the only person that, like, I see this and it, it just makes me feel good to see this here? Because to join the uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn just like this so you guys get a better picture here. I don't know. How See, look at all these guys, and like if they were just all at Thorium Point, they wouldn't they wouldn't have to worry about like if it doesn't make any sense to me the way the Alliance do this. Everybody is in fucking Iron Forge, and they're complaining about nobody being out in the world because they can't quest. And they never go out in the world. It's like if you'd go out into the world, then you could be out in the world because there'd be enough of you guys out there. Like, I just, oh my God. Like, and, and on my server, like to be fair, all right, I, I do think that my server has like a bit of a horde lean, right? There, there are probably more people that are horde who are actively, you know, doing PvP, etc. or whatever. I, I do think that there is a, it may be a slight majority, but I do not in any way, shape or form think it's 60-40 or anything like that. It is not 60-40 on Fairlina. And uh, on my server, it's basically fine. But on some of these other servers, man. Like, you gotta go out and fucking at least hold down a zone, man. 
at least hold down a fucking zone. Well, that works. But anyways, you gotta do what you gotta do to get to level 60. After a handful of unavoidable deaths and a few that could have been avoided had I gone the right way, I finally entered yeah, Upper hey. Black Rock Spire. Can't but not all. before Cybox insists that we remake the party with him as the leader. Like the psychopath control freak he is. The fuck? You run into these people all the time in WoW. Oh, it's and probably unlike heroic. the friendly That's people, why. these guys actually have their shit together. So I saw this as an absolute win. win, win, win. I entered the first room of mobs and with my level 53 aggro range continued to immediately pull every single mob. All 10 of us get obliterated in probably the worst wipe I've ever caused. Then these level so 60 far. psychos actually started domesticating me. They put me on the bench. They timed me out. My only privilege was watching them from afar whilst they cleared out the mobs. What? That is until we fought the beast, where I had the brilliant <laughs> idea of helping my to squad in the by using the gnomish shrink ray, which he literally has a just tiny to sit chance in the corner. of backfiring. I think I've got a gnomish shrink ray this Sorry, guy. Oh, it worked. Oh, that's not what I was going for. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> we barely made it, but oh the rest of the dungeon went pretty smooth. There were two worthwhile drops I could use from the dungeon, the Blademaster leggings that Amiri rolled oh two numbers higher than God. me for, after I accidentally didn't see her message telling me she really needs them, and the Brigham yeah. girdle. When my trustworthy companion oh, told wow. me not to need on it, it's to not roll on belt. I have been trying to get it for a long time. I knew it was a godly item, so Fuck I already dude. know I yeeted that shit with Fuck a solid em, 95. Dude. I'm not gonna hey. lie, it was mega boring to stand back and get carried yeah. without lifting a finger. I mean, that's the thing, man. You're gonna make that dude sit through the whole fucking dungeon not being able to play, and then you're not gonna give him the loot? Man, he hadn't been able to do anything all dungeon. At least let him get the loot. I mean, isn't that what makes sense? Isn't that what makes sense, boys? I don't know how Asmongold does it eight hours a day, but there was one silver lining. I jumped on this... I come back to stream and this is what I get. Uh, you know, like, take a few days off. First fucking wild video I'll watch is roasting me less than 10 minutes into the fucking video, man. <laughs> what a nut punch, man. Yeah, what a nut punch. You get the loot, though? Hey, that's true. Caught with a couple of these people and they were actually pretty chill. They taught me something that would forever change how I play World of Warcraft. What is it? Death rolling. The Azeroth the equivalent that? to playing dice. It's very simple. You Gambling. bet gold against each other and you slash roll ten times the amount you bet. Then your opponent rolled the number you got and the first person to hit one loses. To begin with, I had misunderstood the rules because I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> I rolled a hundred on my first try and assumed that these guys were scammers oh, when so they, they didn't gotta give, give you all the money. money. What went completely over my head though was Bob Gnarly running into unfathomable bad luck. Hitting oh one my three god! Three. That's rough, buddy. Bob! Once I properly understood the game, oh, they Bob. told me tales of a secret gambling ring in Ironforge and one Dude. legend who was undisputedly the king of gambling. I had to know what this was all about. Dude, should we start gambling? Should we start gambling on stream? I feel like this would be something really good for the kids. Because I know that I have a, you know, there aren't really a lot of kids that watch my stream, but there's a few. And if I could just get them addicted to gambling.